Indonesia, an archipelago of over 17,000 islands straddling the equator in Southwest Asia, is a tapestry of diverse cultures, breathtaking landscapes, and vibrant traditions. As Indonesia continues to evolve, it grapples with the challenges of modernization while preserving its unique cultural fabric and confronting environmental concerns. As of 2019, Indonesia's total greenhouse gas emissions were approximately 2.5% of global emissions, with the energy sector contributing to an estimated 529 million metric tons. But here, amidst these challenges, a remarkable transformation is underway. A revolution driven by a vision for a cleaner, more sustainable future with hydrogen. National energy provider PLN is leading the charge after a chance meeting with Blue Diamond Machinery, which has resulted in a first-of-its-kind deployment of the GEH2 EODEV at their Jakarta plant. Join us on this journey as we uncover the story of Indonesia's ambitious leap towards a sustainable future. We are in Jakarta. Uh, yeah, we met uh, uh, Pat Ricky uh, from PLN at the Sydney Hydrogen Conference uh, about four weeks ago, and uh, Ricky was uh, very keen to get our uh, Toyota hydrogen fuel cell generators to Jakarta to showcase the technology to his uh, senior team and for us to do some training to their engineers and technici technicians on using fuel cell uh, power generation. So. PLN is the main power provider for Indonesia. They, they have a, a network of, of green hydrogen facilities already throughout Indonesia. So for us, this is super exciting. One of the challenges in Australia is, is, is currently the, the availability of hydrogen uh, and also the cost. Here, uh, it's actually cheaper to run hydrogen than it is to run diesel. Um, so that's the, uh, the hydrogen utopia, if you like, and that's what you know, we're looking forward to in Australia, which, which will be in the next three to five years. In Indonesia, it's now. Uh, uh, I meet uh, Blue Diamond, Mr. Jason, when I go to Sydney in uh, hydrogen uh, exhibition. So I met him, and I'm very interesting with this uh, full cell generator. And when I talk to him, I think uh, we will have a good match. And I second to him, and and then it happened. He come to Indonesia to Jakarta and bring also the full cell generator. So uh, we can uh, create a new uh, way to get the green hydrogen and then uh, we want to utilize this hydrogen into uh, the society of Indonesia. Then we start to create uh, the market. And uh, for this time, uh, we visit Australia. This is uh, lucky we go there. We attend the Asia Pacific uh, Hydrogen Summit and uh, at that time, we look at the uh, movement of Blue Diamond and then we saw uh, this is the good answer, how we can reduce uh, the carbon uh, in the several area of the Indonesia because we have thousand, more than 5,000 of gensets that supply by diesel and then it's, uh, it's difficult to, to send day by day of uh, diesel to the island. So the introduction of hydrogen technology and the potential of producing fuel on site can shortcut this major logistics burden to the country. PLN are the state-owned utility for Indonesia. Their responsibility is the generation of power and the distribution of that power across this island nation. So it's a great place to start with a company like PLN, where we can be a part of their net zero journey. At ground zero, we're here today charging this EV, and who knows where we'll be in the next six months, powering remote islands, we could be doing anything. So we've been, we've been in Indonesia for three days now. So like I mentioned, I'm supporting Blue Diamond with the rollout. We've been working with PLN and their engineers and the electricians. So firstly, it's about familiarization of the unit. Um, we're working through some training, and then we're gonna start to teach them more about how to set them up, get them running, maintain them, uh, so they can keep using them while we're, you know, and while we support remotely. 
the, the beauty of the GH2 in a country like Indonesia, like we know there is an issue with air quality um, that is contributed to by the, the, the just thousands of cars and scooters that are on the road every day and those diesel generators that we've spoken about, but given the GH2 is zero emission, there's no noise, there's no vibration, it's only emitting water. So if we can get to the point where we're producing green hydrogen, we can you know, help to solve that problem for Indonesia. Indonesia has an amazing opportunity. It runs its electricity supply of thousands of diesel generators on, uh, on all the islands. They've got 8,000 diesel generators on 3,000 islands. And these EO devs are a, a great opportunity for them to reduce carbon significantly and a really easy way to deploy and integrate into their already existing system. Indonesia have an uh, island country, we have many uh, diesel power plants. We will use this for replacing the diesel power plant to make our earth greener. Dengan cara memanfaatkan uh, hidrogen plant yang ada di pembangkit kami dengan menambahkan solar panel di atap-atap yang selama ini kosong hingga kami bisa memproduksi green hydrogen. I think it's a it's a good opportunity to have more hydrogen in all Indonesia. This is the first step, but the first step is important to make the real decarbonization and go faster to reach net zero emission in 26 weeks. Or I think with the hydrogen, maybe more faster. In two months, we've managed to get two EO devs into Indonesia, and there's more on the way. Indonesia is going to be an amazing place, just watch this space.